Hey y'all, I don't know if this light looks bad or not. Not me being a fake YouTuber. Um, we're just gonna leave it on. For the ambiance. Um, I'm in the same outfit, my hair is still curled, I still have no makeup on, of the March and April books I've read. Sorry, we're mass filming these because my hair will probably never be curled for the next month. Um, but these are books I read in May. I feel like I didn't read that much in May. We'll see, I don't remember. I started out with Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I gave this one three stars. I don't even remember what this was about. Let me read. Oh, this one, okay, this one was crazy. Okay, I didn't love the ending and that's why I gave it three stars, but the writing in it was incredible. Um, so basically this girl is like desperate for money and she gets told that she needs to like house watch this apartment and she gets paid for it. And um, they give it to you in cash. Anyway. Um, and the whole time it's like kind of weird. She's hearing stuff. She knows like it's called the Bartholomew and she knows that there's like bad past about it because apparently the guy committed suicide or something. I don't really remember exactly the full storyline, but the ending, like I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending, I was really like this because I was shook. Not the ending ending, but like the twist ending. It was good. Then I read Crown of Midnight, which was Throne of Glass number two, which this took me two months to read. I am struggling to read Throne of Glass. Um, I gave this one four stars, it was good. I think I'm just like, I'm not attached to any character at the moment. So I'm like, are we gonna do anything? No, cool. Then I read A Touch of Chaos, Hades, Times for Symphony, because I think that this book just came out. I gave it two stars. Honestly, I thought that the, thirst, the first three were the better. Like, the first one is the best, and the other two are kind of fine. But the last one was not very good. Then I read Vicious Lost Boys, the one, two, like, first, second, and third one, which is The Never King, The Dark One, and The Vicious Darling. Very confused by it, because... It's basically like a retelling of Peter Pan and like the Lost Boys, but these girls get kidnapped. You know, I don't know. I can't really tell you what was going on half the time, but it was, <laughs> it was a book to read. <laughs> um, I gave the first one three stars, I gave the second one two stars, and I gave the last one one star. Then I said, read We Were Never Here, which, what was this about? Oh, this one was crazy, okay? Um, so basically, this girl and her best friend go on a trip, someone gets killed. Then they go on another trip, someone gets killed by them. And then they're like, oh, we got to hide this, whatever. And then they're like basically running for their lives, I feel like. I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't anything great. I gave it three stars. Then I read Gilded. It was horrible. I gave it one star. Did not enjoy. Then I read Ice Planet, Bar Pla Ice Planet Barbarians because everybody was like, they're so bad, but they're so good. I need to know. So I was like, oh, I'll give the first one a shot. Whatever. I thought my experience was not very good. <laughs> it was a two star read. <laughs> then I read King of Wrath. Dead. That book was so good. I gave it four stars because I was like, five stars is what it should get. But I'm holding out that another boy in the series might catch my heart the way Dante did. That man with Mia Kata. Dead. I literally love this man. I'm like, I know you're supposed to be a piece of garbage, but I love you. It's giving, it's giving very much the twisted, or er, wasn't that what it's called? Twisted Fate? Twisted? Twisted Series? Is that wrong? Twisted Series. That was correct. Okay, cool. Anyway, moving on.
uh, four stars, should be five, but we're saving five for later, okay? Um, then I read The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, which I know you're supposed to read before all of them, but I read a third. Gave that one four stars. I actually really liked getting her backstory and like knowing about some characters that were talked about that I had no idea who they were, so. Moving in a solid direction. Yeah, that was all I read in May. But yeah, bye y'all.